Well, hello YouTube. Uh, today, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to modify one of these dark power supplies. This is a um, C seven fifty P dash two zero. So what you okay? So what you'll need is two two three jumper cables. And if you guys don't have these, uh, this is like Arduino connector cables. You could do like what I did on this one. Just one of those connectors, jumper connectors that are computer. So what you want to do is get your power supply, face it towards you. When you face it towards you, There's a small right pin right here. It's smaller than all of them. You want to connect one of the wires to them. For me, it's going to be a brown one. And just connect the brown one on the top. That is power on. Then you have this black one. This is to control the fan speed. And after you've done that, there's one more pin. From this corner right here, you want to count one, two. The second pin, you either want to bend it this side and then solder it because I don't, since I'm not gonna do that and I'm um and I'm gonna use and I'm gonna put a switch on this you could just use the wire connect it on there and then you know we'll power on now this is the all right once you have done that um what you want to do is of course plug in power As you can see, 12.26 volts is always towers around there. And then we unplug this black pin right here. You see how the fan starts speeding up. You see what this pin does. It just it makes automatic temperature. I have two of these, which I'm gonna be connecting in parallel. And I don't know which the current pin is. I'm pretty sure this where the black one connects to the bottom part. That's the current share pin. And but I don't know how to connect them together. But this is a really good power supply. Really easy to set up. 62 amps. And. I'm gonna be using this to power a subwoofer system when I get a chance to get an amplifier and everything. Yeah, blah blah blah. But this amplifier, this I mean this um, oops, I unplugged it. But this um. This power supply could supply a lot of power. I'll put in the video, like I'll put in a part two of what stuff this power supply could power. And it was a lot. It was powering a big motor and two 5 amp LTA devices and a 40 amp long motor. So, stay tuned for that.